Alright guys, I just want to show you what I'm running on the Graw 556 throughout this footage. I have it set up. I'm not running a muzzle on it, as you can see. With the barrel, I'm running the FFS 20.8 Nexus with damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. Also, I'm running the TAC laser. It's really good. It gives you a lot of, a lot of attributes there. Um, the stock, I'm just running aiming stability to kind of make up for it. There's uh, really none on this gun with my setup. The FSS Blackjack. And the rear grip, I'll be running the first one, the SRK Void. The, it gives you ADS and sprint to fire speed, which is really helpful. I run the 50 round mag. You could run the 60. You're going to lose some ADS, though. 50 um, is plenty, honestly. This is how I have it set up throughout the footage that you will see. Um, you could put a scope on it. Really, you don't need it. With this barrel, the iron sight is amazing. I think it's like the best iron sight in the game. You also can make it close quarter by putting no stock. Um, if you do that, I just throw some recoil control on it somewhere. But yeah, that's that's it. Pretty simple setup. Um, you'll see how it is in the footage. Here I'm just going to show you some gameplay of this. The 5.56 Raw. This is Gun Runner. I edited this video uh, quite a bit. I just want to show you, you know, the good parts, different ranges, that sort of stuff. Honestly, um, if your aim is better than mine, which I'm sure it probably is, <laughs> you will have, this gun will be a lot better for you. Um, I play on console, but I'm sure PC players and even console players, you know, you got that just amazing aim and just headshots everywhere. So this gun is going to just work out so well for you. Uh, I used to play the M4, but... I, I fell in love with this, I upgraded it all the way, and I really think this is the way to go now. This is the new meta for ARs, at least for most maps. This guy, you know, I had a little trouble catching him. He was scared trying to run away, but we did get him in the end. Um, another note I just want to mention, um, obviously this is your primary weapon you'll be using. At least it is for me. Uh, your secondary, that's up to you. Um, I know most maps, like, you got your main weapon, but then you go to those both quarters like in houses and stuff and I usually will run like a mp7 like you'll see in some footage here soon I'll swap to the mp7 like right now just in these tight spaces so I'm not saying that's the only gun you have to use is the 556 and uh, this is just all my opinion I just want to share it with you guys because I mean it is just such a great gun You can see I'm on a roll right now, just killing everything in sight. I'm telling you why I love this gun. But things do come to an end sometime. We'll see here in a second. That is AFK. Close kill. I got the VTOL jet, you know. At least that matters. I love that thing. I like this map. Once again, great gun to use here. Pretty much use it the whole time. I'm at this map. Barely ever switch weapons.
so like I said, there are some occasions where this gun might not be the best to use. Certain maps, you know, small close quarter maps. Here in a second, I'm going to show you the AR I think is the best for close quarters. So these are the two best ARs in the game, like I said, in my opinion. I will show you this here in just one second. Let's just finish out this uh, footage right now, and I'll show you the setup. I just want to show you how the Ram 7 is set up throughout my gameplay. Here we go. Um, no muzzle. The barrel, I am running the first one, the FTAC 13.5 Compact, gives you ADS and movement speed. It really shortens the barrel, as you can see, these different ones. Really good for um, close, close quarters. Running the TAC Laser, of course. Stock, I will be running ADS on it. That is the SRK close quarter stock. And I put the 50 round mag, only choice you have. And I am running the Ranger foregrip with recoil control and aiming stability. Really simple setup on this. Um, I think this is the best way to go for close quarters, which th this gun is made for. Your maps like Hackney and Shoot House, Shipment, anything that you're going to be close to the enemy most of the time. Um, this is definitely the gun to go to. You could switch it around a bit, but I played with it here and there and this is the best setup by far in my opinion. We're losing control. Enemy at the A little more footage with the Ram 7 and these close quarter maps. We've taken the lead. It's just so good. It's just so good here. This secondary with uh with your MP7. I'm telling you, you're going to kill everything in sight. If you can think of a better gun to use here, you know, tell me in the comments, but I really I can't imagine one. Acne Yard. I think this is my favorite map out of all, honestly. I just love this map. I always do so well here. And I always use this loadout. The Ram 7 with the MP7. I mean, it's even good through buildings. You really don't even have to swap to your MP7. You can if you want, but as you can see there, the dude absolutely got shredded. See, I'm top of the leaderboard. I do end up winning this round. But yeah, this is all, this is all just my opinion. You know, you guys can run whatever you want. Shotguns, whatever. You know, it doesn't matter to me. If you want to camp and snipe. That's you, that's your play style. I just want to bring this out to the community and, you know, help anyone out. Any newcomers or someone looking for a new gun, maybe their gun's just not feeling good for them. Just trying to help them out. If you enjoyed the video, please show some support. Leave a thumbs up, a comment. Show me, uh, tell me your opinion. Subscription would be awesome. I appreciate the view. Thank you guys. Have a good day.